Name for level first. Brad Tronk, T-R-O-N-C. Okay, Brad. First up, mate, did that buy from last week help, help the win today, do you think? Mate, it did. We've got a lot of energy, uh, a lot of energy, sorry, start again. We've yeah. got a lot of injuries uh, at the moment, which a lot of clubs do, but uh, definitely helped us uh, recuperate a little bit, yeah. You had a loss against Snooze, I believe. Yeah, we come off the back of a fairly big loss to them, and, and look, so were Uni. Um, and we knew they'd throw everything at us today and put everything they had into it, and they, which they did. Um, the wins must be important for you to hold on to the second spot at the table and keep the pressure on the Dolphins. Yeah, look, we, we don't we try not to look uh, too far ahead of ourselves. Uh, I think it's really the Dolphins uh, one and, and then everyone else a country mile second and third and fourth. So we're definitely setting the standard at the moment, but all we can worry about is our own backyard and improving each week. Did today's match have a bit of a final feel to it? Oh, I wasn't happy with our intensity today, uh, but I was happy with our ability to uh, come back when we didn't have any momentum or didn't have any ball, but we're still good enough to uh, get the win. You had a bit of a chat to the boys just then, uh, what was said? Oh, it's just about uh, getting better and better each week, and there's a few things I was disappointed with, which was the uh, our penalty count and our ill-discipline. Uh, we can't afford to have that um, coming into the back end of the season. It's just something, a standard uh, that we need to set and set it a little bit higher at the moment. You had a fair bit of momentum in the first half. Is it disappointing to let Uni in just right before the half time? Yeah, it was, and uh, look, it was a good try, and uh, Lenny, he, he ran a pretty good line, but uh, you know we just fell off a little bit in, uh, in our defense. But um, you know, at, at, at the same time, we, we were good enough to come back from that. Uh, what do you need to work on before the game gets in the ball? Uh, just getting some more people back on the paddock will be uh, will be handy. Uh, but other than that, we just uh, just our structures uh, in attack were just off a little bit today. But uh, look, that's our fourth five eight in five weeks. So it uh, just takes a little bit of getting used to uh, each ten each week. But uh, hopefully, we can continue with the same one from now on. I guess Nambour's going to be pretty desperate. Um, I mean, you have to be pretty wary of them, do you think? Yeah, I don't think they've got anything to lose at this stage of the year. And, you know, I think they've underperformed for the um, for the roster they've got. So, um, yeah, I think every team in this comp is pretty, uh, pretty dangerous. So. And how do you stop complacency creeping in knowing that you're playing Russ, play side next week? Oh, uh, that's... That's not our. That's not the benchmark. Ours is uh, still about building to finals, and and my hardest thing at the moment is to get the boys out of three weeks' time and get them into each game at the moment because I know they're all looking forward to playing finals footy. Um, so I just need to get them out of going through those motions at the moment. Thanks so much, mate. No worries.